Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This channel will be all about faith, fitness, lifestyle, everything in between. This is my first official video, so bear with me. I'm new to this, so if you have any comments or anything, please leave it down below. I'll be going straight into it. As you can see by this title, today's topic, we're going into tips on how to fight gym anxiety. So me, myself, I've been dealing, well, actually, I feel like I've overcome it. There'll be sometimes when I'm a bit, you know, nervous to go to the gym, but I feel like I have found a routine. I found ways that I can help myself. Very ironic as I work in the gym, as I'm, you know, someone that's into fitness, but I've struggled with feeling anxious for a very long time going to the gym. I feel like if I feel the pressures of people maybe watching me, especially being someone who goes to the gym that is a personal trainer. I feel like there's more pressure of people being aware that, okay, that's a personal trainer. They should know what they're doing. They should be able to do everything. But I know that's, that's not the case, but that's what's in my mind. But anywho, I'm gonna go straight into it. Today I have seven tips on what I've done and other things outside of what I've done, just general things that will help you because I know that it can be hard, especially being new to the gym. I know how difficult it can be walking to the gym all by yourself and feeling nervous and scared, not knowing what to do. Number one, go with a friend. You see, when you go with a friend, it makes things a little bit easier because you take your mind off of things. It makes things more fun and you can plan workouts together so you can do things back to back. For example, if you're doing squats, for example, you're doing your sets and then we swap, they do their sets, you just keep swapping and you just find it fun. I feel like when I'm with my friends personally, I just shut everyone out. And sometimes it can be a bad thing because I end up being too loud with my friends like laughing so loud you forget okay there's people around us but I just love it personally I know there's some people that don't but for me I love working out with my friends so if you do have someone in mind or someone you know likes to work out and you really haven't gone to the gym yet and you just ask them I think they would actually prefer going with you than just by themselves so number one would definitely be if you can go with a friend so number two which is a very, very good one. So if you do work out in a gym, because some people don't, so this is for tips that if you do go to the gym, I recommend you, if there's um, an app for your gym, the app, it tells you the times that it's busy or less busy. For example, as I'm working at the gym, I've noticed that on certain times, certain days, it can be busy or less busy. For example, let's say Monday. Monday is the busiest day of the week. Everyone's just trying to get in, first day of the week, you know, get their workout on. So from morning, from maybe, I haven't actually worked Monday morning before, but I've gone, I've gone in for my clients on a Monday morning and from like six to eight, very busy. And then from like midday to 3 p.m., really quiet. Evening, don't even, don't, if you, don't go to the gym, during the evening for the first time, you will probably freak out. Even for me, the first time going in on the Monday evening with my client, I was even, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many people. I think that's always the busiest day, um, busiest day and time. Um, but the day that's less busy are usually like a Friday or Saturday evening, uh, sorry, afternoon, that's when it's less busy. So if you're a first time goer, first time gym goer, or you're just someone that you know is still quite new to the gym i'd recommend 100 percent would be 8 to 10 and then it would be 12 to 4 pm for first time gym goers and if you're a nighttime workout kind of person i would say from 8 pm onwards pretty quiet so i would say the busiest times and i would not recommend going as a new gym goer also because the equipments are always, everyone's on the equipment in the evening. And if you're a first time gym goer or still new, you'll feel quite overwhelmed. And the times I would say are busy would be very busy from six to eight. There's two hours. It starts to creep up a bit. 5.30 starts to get a bit busy. Bang, six, forget about it. Forget about it. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> so yeah, so if you're going during the weekdays, Monday's the busiest day weekends saturday mornings are quite busy actually i think from like 8 to 12 busy because i think everyone's trying to bang out their workouts before they go out in the evening so they kind of fit, try to fit it in, in in the morning and the afternoon 
from 12 onwards peace and quiet but you never know that sometimes there's some days where you think it's quiet sometimes it was, a, uh, if it was last week friday actually for some reason from 12 it was so busy so i'm only giving you times that you know most of the time it is pretty quiet but there'll be some days where for, for some reason it's busy number three plan ahead of time for example i would say if you're quite busy you know you have a busy schedule i recommend two to three days to start off with and for example if you have only two days in the week i would split those two days into full body workouts and i'd make sure to have minimum absolute minimum 24 hours rest in between those four days but i would want to push it for 48 hours to make sure your full body is fully recovered especially being a new gym goer your body may t may feel much more sore compared to someone who's been in the gym for a long time that's because your body's not used to the shock that you put in it through so if you're going for example monday you've done a full body workout then i'd maybe give it till wednesday or even thursday to do another full body workout um just so your body has enough time to recover uh, if you're doing a three day split i would say those two days upper lower and then the third day full body for example um monday lower body you could do tuesday um low, uh, did I say lower upper body and then you can give maybe two days and then the friday you can do um full body that gives you enough time to recover but everyone's different maybe the next day you feel absolutely fine i always say rest and recovery is so important so focus on rest and recovery because your muscles need to adapt to what you've just put it through and also being able to recover from the activity especially strength training you need a lot of recovery um so yeah that is tip number three okay, number four keep it short and sweet again you've just started at the gym new or if you haven't been before keep it short and sweet i would say if you're very nervous to go to the gym and you don't know where to start or what to do i'd recommend even just 30 minutes of your time in the gym for example five minutes warm up so that can be on the treadmill that can be on the bike it can be on anything any cardio machine that you see go on it bang it out for five minutes it can be a moderate speed not too fast just to get your body warmed up and prepared for the activity ahead so after the warm-up then you pick one upper and one lower exercise it could be absolutely anything in the gym there's plenty of machines around and they should have instructions on the um the machine so normally for pure gym for example they have the name of the exercise the diagram of where the muscles are being worked so the first picture is always um the front of the body and the next picture is the back and whatever's highlighted in red are the muscles that it's working and then um, below that is the written description of what to do and how to do it but again, if you're not if you're, if you're not too sure how to do it, ask a manager or ask someone that's around that has uniform on. So once you've decided what exercises to do, I would recommend four sets each. I always say the first set is like a warm-up set. So even though it's four sets, but the three out of the four sets are your main working sets. So for example, four sets of 12. The one set would be just warm-up, maybe like the lightest one or just a few ones down just to get your body used to the movement because if you go straight into the heaviest one that you can do it can really strain you and also as you're quite new to the gym you're still kind of working out what weight works for you so being able to lift the light ones you can feel okay you know what this is too, this is quite light i can go up a bit more or you feel it actually it's a bit heavy it might just stick around this weight so i say four sets of 12 15 just so again you can get your body used to the movement once you're done with your sets then you go and cool down. So you cool down in a treadmill or whatever cardio machine you used previously. You go on that and then you bring your heart rate back down slowly. So the speed should be much lower than your warm up. And once the cool down is done, you stretch it out. So you're head to toe, stretch out your body, then you're done. This should be 30 minutes, around 30 minutes. Number five, book an induction. So inductions are a perfect way to get to know the gym a bit more and the people around. So. I do a few inductions with people and I know how much it really helps them. I show them every single bit of the gym, any areas that I recommend and also always show them the description on the the weight machines because that really helps as well. You're new, not, don't know how to use a machine, maybe no one's around to help. That will kind of guide you on what to do. Most of the machines are quite self-explanatory but there's some that are a bit complicated. The instructions should help you to kind of execute it the best way you can. This also helps you familiarise yourself 
around the gym. And then when you familiarize yourself with the gym, you'll feel much more comfortable. This will give you much more confidence for you to then get into the gym, do your workout and get out. Number six, book classes. I know you're probably thinking, I'm literally nervous to work out, to work out with people. I'm telling you, it helps because I see a lot of people that are new and they're quite nervous and when they come in I can see their confidence building every time they come to the gym and this also helps you kind of learn different exercises what um, workouts can do what what muscle groups it can work it can definitely help you're also able to make new friends as well because sometimes most of the time when you go to a class there's usually the same people when you go to the same class at the same time um, so everyone has different schedules in their day and when you start having building that routine building that schedule you'll find people at the same time so for example there's um, a friday there's always the same people that come and now they're they're bonding they're friends they're like they're always asking okay you go to the next class tomorrow and just i just love it honestly if you're really nervous and you're scared and you don't know where to start or you want to learn more exercises go to a class it will really help boost up your confidence and help you to learn new exercises and techniques so last but certainly not least number seven <laughs> Plan a short workout. So this is quite similar to, I can't remember which number it was, but not just planning a short workout, but making it simple for yourself. For example, there's so many dumbbell only workouts, Smith machine only workouts, or weight machine only workouts, and you can find so many online. You could even build your own kind of routine. It makes things easier sticking in one place. And I'll definitely post some in the future to help guide you. Um, but yeah, there's dumbbell, for example, can do Romanian deadlifts, squats, lunges, bicep curls, shoulder, you can do so many different things with just dumbbells for example, Smith machine, you can do the same thing, shoulder press, bench press, squats, lunges, you, you can do a lot of things with just a few pieces of equipment or just one, so if you're not sure where to start, I think sticking to one area of the gym with just your dumbbells for example will really help you that way you can work everything in a short amount of time get everything done and just get out of it so i hope that helped I had a little sneezing fit so if you see my eyes watering and i'm sniffing please bear with me but those are my seven tips on how to fight gym anxiety this journey is not an easy journey and it's not a quick journey either i understand that it's not a quick fix i understand that one day is not going to completely fight it completely but i know with my own experience that one step at a time will do you so much good you know before even just recording my content i'd be freaking out just the thought of bringing my tripod around i was thinking who do i think i am but i have the right to do what i want to do okay um but yeah so i know how it feels i know how it is i know how scary it might be terrifying it might be especially for someone who knows what to do in the gym but just has a fear of just people watching and no one's even looking at you like just just know that people are not actually looking at you most of the time everyone is always in their own zone in their own minds everyone's always focused on their exercises most of the time people are not looking at you i've really had to put that in my mind that everyone's in their own zone and my gym personally people are so nice i've not met one person that's mean or horrible everyone is so lovely so most times people in the gym are just absolutely just amazing people and I know how challenging it can be, but once you get into it slowly, you'll be like, actually, it's not that bad. And you'll find the times that work best for you. And even though I'm recommending to go at a certain time, you shouldn't limit yourself. You know, those are just tips just to start off with, but it shouldn't be tips to just stop at. I always say, push yourself. You know, there'll be times where, um, the only reason I go specific times only because I'm able to record content if it's too busy, I would literally not have anywhere to, to work out or play a space to even put my tripod up. Don't use these tips as a way to just limit you to this place. You can push yourself further. These are just play a, a stepping stone to the next stage. You know what, I'm doing a 30 minute workout. Let me go push to one hour, push to one hour, 30 minutes, push to two hours. I'm actually not saying you have to, that's not what I'm saying, but um, for me, I spend two hours you know to really get a full good workout especially i have really long rest periods before i'd only have like two minutes rest periods but now i have like two to three sometimes five that's only because i really want to make sure because i really push hard <laughs> with my exercises try to lift the heaviest weight um that i possibly can 
obviously the safest way and also make sure I can actually lift it but yeah I really hope this helped I hope this first video gives you some sort of guidance on how to go about things in the gym if you have any questions or any comments please leave them down below please like comment subscribe and please share it around to anyone who you may think will benefit from this thank you so much for coming and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.